Most of us know that smoking causes lung cancer, but even those who quit many years ago or never smoked are still at risk. And uh, of the people that um, are uh, newly diagnosed with lung cancer, about 60% uh, of them now had smoked in the past but had already stopped smoking. That is the largest group of people that developed this illness. Angie Lee Ao worked as a pharmacist for more than 30 years, 15 of them in clinical trial research. Because of her medical background, when Angie began experiencing back pain and extreme tiredness, she knew something was wrong and went to see her doctor. And I don't uh, take it away from how shocking it is for people who have smoked, but for someone who has no risk factors, it's especially difficult to accept. Angie had never smoked, yet she was diagnosed with inoperable advanced stage four lung cancer. Ray was out of town at the time, and so when I called him and finally said to him, they think I have cancer, that's when I kind of broke down. One of the biggest challenges in treating lung cancer is that there uh, are usually no symptoms early on. And what I mean by this is by the time a patient develops a symptom from lung cancer, such as shortness of breath or a cough or pain, uh, the lung cancer can be quite advanced. Regardless of how lung cancer is discovered or where lung cancer has spread when it is discovered, um, we're always looking for better ways to fight the illness. Survival rates for stage four lung cancer patients are low. The expected five-year survival mark is less than 16%. Still, through clinical trials and advances in targeted treatment therapies, those statistics are changing. One of the things I think it's important for lung cancer patients to realize is lung cancer is not always a fatal disease. In some cases, surgery can be curative. Also, chemotherapy and radiation therapy can prolong life and in most cases improve the quality of life. I have been uh, much more uh, enthusiastic about uh, changing the outcomes for lung cancer patients over the past several years as we've begun uh, to understand uh, the basic biologic pathways that these cancers uh, use to the development of some really new therapies uh, that target these particular pathways. Angie's cancer was too far advanced for traditional treatment, so she received an experimental medication through a clinical trial. 19 months after her treatment, she's doing well. But there is no cure for stage four disease. Medical experts say the outlook is bright, though, and each passing year, the number of people cured continues to increase. Everyone involved in the fight against lung cancer is eager to see cure rates rise as medical treatments advance.